We are tracking some measurable snow here across the GTA as a clipper is moving in. It's Monday morning, and yes, we are in Stormwatch here at the Weather Network right now, 537 AM. Measurable snow, first of the season. So this has sent special weather statements in place right across the Golden Horseshoe, across southern Ontario as well. And then the winds, they will be having a big impact as we look at Tuesday morning. The snow will be falling, the winds gusting up to 60 kilometers an hour. So if you pair all of that together, well, that spells some blowing and drifting snow and low visibility out on the roads. And we're going to get into our storm watch coverage. But first up, I want to spread some warmth because we've been seeing some incredible stories from over the weekend. I want to share this one with you. A group of people gathered together this weekend in Toronto and handed out some warmth. They handed out some clothes to the homeless across Toronto. And, you know, it's stories like this, people like this that really get you into the Christmas spirit as well. I want to introduce you to Operation Warm. It's a website, click.com slash holiday, click with a K. You head here and you can download this jingle. You make winter warm. And when you download this, every dollar will be sent to uh, Operation Warm, helping kids get into some winter jackets this season. So I know it's a cold start to the day today. And of course, with snow on the way as well, you need something to warm you up, right? And of course, spreading the warmth coming at a good time because look, special weather statements are in place. This is widespread across Southern Ontario, basically letting people know winter is coming. Snow is moving into the picture. And as we look at the big picture here on radar, this is the clipper. Now we are seeing a couple light flurries across the GTA this morning, but the bigger stuff, that's going to start to happen. Some light flurries throughout the afternoon, heaviest snow through the overnight, and then continuing on into Tuesday. So you can see here, Tuesday at about 2 a.m., this is widespread snow right across southern Ontario. This is when we will be seeing the biggest impact and then blowing snow. That continues in through Tuesday morning as well. Tuesday and through the afternoon, this system finally starts to weaken. So we are looking at a good dose of snow with this. For places like Toronto, up to about 10 centimeters. We will see a little less snow for places like Oakville, Milton, Burlington, down into Hamilton, about six to eight. But this is the system that is going to turn Toronto white and change the landscape for us. I want to show you our roads this morning because we've already got some flashing lights out there. It's 5.46 a.m. and you are watching the Weather Network. We saw a little bit of snow over the weekend. Wasn't enough to bring out the shovel across the Golden Horseshoe, but it was enough to create some pretty good photography. Justin Engel tweeted me this one from Guelph, the iconic church there in Guelph. Just a little bit of snow and uh, really created the perfect scene. Now, speaking of perfect scenes when it comes to snow, Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills game. I don't know about the players liking this kind of snow, but it certainly was good. And the Argos, now the TFC bringing this home, certainly a lot to celebrate in terms of sports here in Toronto. Now lots to celebrate too when it comes to the snow. If you're a snow lover and you have been waiting for this, well, some good news for you. Special weather statements have been issued due to the snow that will be falling today, heaviest overnight tonight, and then continuing in through Tuesday morning. We're looking at high impact impact for two rush hours tonight as that snow starts and then especially in through Tuesday morning as the snow will be on the ground and the winds will really be picking up. As we look at the big picture here, this is the clipper. So you can see as we zoom into southern Ontario, this morning we are not dealing with that clipper. If you see any flurries this morning, this is just a little bit of enhancement here off the lakes. The big system, that is still to come. And it's likely we are going to get some snow as we go into the afternoon. Just some light snuff. This will make the roads a little bit slick as we go into the rush hour drive home tonight. And then that heaviest snow will be falling overnight tonight. So this is how much we are expecting. Within Toronto, 10 centimeters looks to be a good number for us. 10 centimeters of accumulation. West of Toronto, Oakville, Burlington, Mississauga, looks to be a little bit less, more about six to eight. And then we will get some greater enhancement here, eastern edge of Huron, down towards Barrie as well. Niagara Falls could see up to 15. So in those classic snow belt regions, if your travel plans, for example, take you out to Ottawa, you'll be driving away from this system, but getting there into Tuesday morning, Ottawa will be seeing some big effects with this snow. So this is how it plays out. The snow starts up this afternoon, some light stuff, 
rush hour drive, it will be snowing. Heaviest snow will be falling overnight. This is a timestamp here, 2 a.m. into Tuesday morning. Widespread snow for everybody. And then as we go into Tuesday morning, the rush hour drive, the winds will be very, very strong. You can see we get a couple breaks throughout the afternoon and into Tuesday evening, and then the system is out of here for Wednesday. Those winds, though, on Tuesday morning, that's going to create some problems. Gusting 60, even 70 kilometers an hour, and that will create blowing snow, making the scene look even snowier for us. Now, trouble out on the roads. I do want to show you this here. Looks like so. Hey, enjoy the walk this morning while the ground is still snow free or how easy it is to turn on the car this morning and just reverse out of the driveway and leave because tomorrow morning you're going to have to be dusting off that car because snow is on the way. We're in storm watch for this one. It's great to have you along with us. I'm Rachel Schutz and Emily Vukovic is standing by because she's going to talk about that long range trend and where temperatures are going for today. It's going to feel like minus 12 and Barry. It's a cold one today. Dress in layers. Don't forget the gloves you need the hat on too. Why do we have the special weather statements? Not because of the cold, but because of the snow. Snow is moving in. Light snow this morning, couple light flurries into the afternoon. That's when the actual system comes in. We're waiting for this clipper to roll into southern Ontario and that's happening today. Some of the heaviest snow is falling overnight tonight, but this is still going to impact the rush hour drive home tonight. We're thinking impact on two drives tonight and then also tomorrow morning. Tuesday Tuesday morning. I'm thinking Tuesday morning we will get hit a little bit harder because the winds will be compared with this too in terms of really gusting up to about 60, 70 kilometers an hour and we'll also have a decent amount of snow on the ground. Now this system continues to exit as we go throughout the day on Tuesday but Toronto is looking at about 10 centimeters of snow with this. Lesser amounts west of Toronto out towards Burlington and Oakville but everyone is going to have to shovel with this one. Now Emily, temperatures as we go through the week they are getting colder the long ranger starts now it's good to have you along with us 606 a.m and you are watching the weather network it is a cold start to the day today minus seven feels more like minus 12 with that wind chill and yes we are in storm watch here at the weather network as we are expecting to see a big snowy system come our way i want to take a look at what's trending online and then we're going to break down the details when it comes to this snow Oh, I couldn't imagine being in those stands. That must have been so cold, but hey, a lot of fun. And speaking of uh, being in cold stands, victorious for the TFC over the weekend as well. Now let's get into our storm watch coverage because you need to know about this snow, right? Widespread special weather statements are in place. So we are talking a big system, system snow coming in, not just lake effect. Remember, lake effect targets only certain areas where an area of low pressure, this clipper, you can see it forming here, will be slicing across southern Ontario and that is going to be bringing snow to everybody. So as we look at the radar this morning, we do have a couple light flurries. This is not associated really with the clipper. The bulk of that snow will be falling overnight tonight, but we're going to start to see it as early as rush hour. So for the drive home tonight, snow is going to start to fall. Big impact will be on tomorrow morning's rush hour. We're thinking that's going to be a very slow drive across the GTA. This afternoon, minus three feels like minus nine. The winds are not as intense today. They will be really picking up as we go into tomorrow morning. And remember, that's when we should be seeing a couple centimeters of snow on the ground already. So that rush hour drive tomorrow, think slick roads. As we look at Tuesday, the system is still with us. The winds are strong into tomorrow morning and that snow continues to fall. So that's blowing and drifting snow. So that again adds another element to that morning drive, even into the afternoon as well on Tuesday. With this system, about 10 centimeters of snow for Toronto, about six to eight for places like Burlington and Oakville, and then up to Barrie, looks like about 10 centimeters as well. Within the snow belts, we do have a pretty good chance of seeing 10 or more centimeters with this system system even closer to 15 into the Niagara region and this here is just showing you those intense winds out of the north that will be with us on Tuesday and of course this snow well maybe exciting for the kids exciting for Christmas and for Blue Mountain it's all good for business because Blue Mountain officially opens tomorrow Tuesday now when we come back we'll be taking a look at force of nature we're not the only ones getting snow snow across Europe as 
We are in Stormwatch here at the Weather Network as a clipper moves into southern Ontario. This is the system that is going to turn Toronto white. The system that tomorrow morning will have you dusting off the car and maybe even shoveling the driveway. Now, snow plows, they are likely to be out with this system. And I want to show you this episode of Captured. It takes place in Utah of a truck cutting off a snow plow. This is why you need to stay away. This video took place in Utah, and of course, this is a place that has a lot of different terrain. We can get tons of snow in. Okay, the message is out. You've been told, right? Watch out for those snow plows. Please drive safe. The first snow of the season always creates a little bit of chaos across the Golden Horseshoe, and that's what we're getting into. The real first measurable snow. We have seen lake effect snow. We've seen systems come through that brought in a little dusting of snow. This is now an actual system that is going to track across southern Ontario and bring measurable snow to everybody. So that's why special weather statements are in place, basically warning you, saying, hey, first snowfall of the season it's going to snow you're going to have to shovel you're going to have to drive in it things could get a little messy so here it is we're likely to see some light flurries as we go into this afternoon then the snow starts to pick up overnight the rush hour drive home tonight yes the roads are going to be slick and it's likely we are going to see some snow flying heaviest snow though will be pre-dawn in through tuesday morning tomorrow morning the drive i'm thinking it is going to be slow and it is going to be tough for some people especially those without the snow tires on as we look at Tuesday, the winds really picking up out of the north, temperatures dropping into Wednesday, and the system clearing out throughout the day on Tuesday. Those winds, though, certainly will be something to deal with. But this snow, of course, bringing us the Christmas spirit. Yes, we are in Stormwatch here at the Weather Network as the system moves in a clipper that's going to bring everybody some snow. Rachel Schutz and Kelly Sonnenberg here with you on this Monday morning. And Kelly, I just want to mention to the commuters across the GTA, the snow hasn't fallen yet, but we're already seeing a closure oh, no. of the 401 westbound this morning at Martin Grove and Dixon. Unfortunately, a fatal collision. So just keep in mind if your travel plans take you through that stretch. We're going to be getting to details on how much snow can be expected with this system. But first, let's find out what's trending online. And speaking of fresh snow, we're seeing just a little light dusting in Ottawa this morning, but this landscape is about to change. Oh, definitely. By this evening, we're going to start to see snow move in. When you're waking up this morning in the city of Ottawa, feeling closer to minus 25. Oh. So you'll definitely want to be bundling up widespread special weather statements issued by Environment Canada. This was already in place this past weekend. Mm -hmm. We know a good amount of snow is coming our way. And this is really going to be the first accumulating snow for the Golden Horseshoe. We've seen little dustings of it. The lake effect machine has certainly been turned on. But but this is an area of low pressure that is going to bring everybody some snow. So Toronto, 10 centimeters. People will mm -hmm. be shoveling, oh, will definitely. be dusting off the car. So get your mind wrapped around this idea. I don't know. <laughs> like, I know we've been talking about this for a couple days, but I don't even know if I'm mentally prepared really? for the snow that's coming. <laughs> Timing the system out today, we'll start to see some scattered flurries pick up through the afternoon, evening as well. Intensity builds through the overnight, and then we'll have to keep an eye on tomorrow morning's commute. Yeah, and you know, even tonight's commute, not to downplay it, mm -hmm. I think that people will still notice okay it's snowing the roads are looking a little bit more slick so two commutes but the higher impact definitely tomorrow with the winds also now let's talk about Quebec we've got some light flurries moving across the eastern townships this is all very light and for the most of the day it's going to be quiet we'll see the sun come out but into the evening this is what's coming coming through the overnight tonight mostly a Wednesday story 20 to 30 centimeters and I do want to point out that we did have those winter storm watches in effect for Quebec City mm -hmm. that is actually due to the snow and the strong winds associated with the system. Okay, so you get the double whammy. Now look at us, we're waking up in Cape Breton Island, a gorgeous start to the day. And a fun fact about St. John's, yesterday recorded its warmest December temperature ever. Today, only for the daytime high. I think the uh, storm watch music, it makes my, makes my heart beat a little bit faster on this Monday morning. How about you? Right now it's 6.46 a.m. You are watching the Weather Network, and yes, we are in storm watch because more snow is on the way. This is the first measurable snow of the season, especially for places like Toronto. Kitchener was looking gorgeous, or Guelph, actually. This is Guelph, was looking gorgeous this weekend. Uh, Justin Engel sent me this one on Twitter, and we're going to be seeing a whole lot more snow. We're going to talk about some of the special weather statements that is coming up, but right now, here's what's trending. 
snow and football, they seem to go together quite nicely, doesn't it? I'm sure in the stands, those people were pretty cold yesterday. Lake effect snow can be powerful in Buffalo. And system snow, well, that's going to be powerful right across southern Ontario. This is an area of low pressure that's going to spread the wealth. It's going to give everybody some snow. When we talk lake effect, it targets certain areas. That's why we call some areas the snow belts, because they're prone to extra snow, courtesy of the Great Lakes. This time, everyone's getting in on the fun. And this here is the area of low pressure just to the west of us right now. This is the clipper that's going to track by. We call it a clipper because it is fairly fast moving. It forms in Alberta, gets the name Alberta Clipper, and it doesn't have a ton of moisture associated with it, but about 10 centimeters of snow. That's enough for Toronto. That's enough to really slow down the roads and uh, create some chaos around the city. We know how it is. First snowfall of the season. Many people don't have the winter tires on yet. Maybe you're not expecting it. You're not used to clearing off the car, shoveling the driveway everything that goes with snow, right? A lot of extra work for us. So as we look at this evening, we're thinking that yes, flurries will be flying for the rush hour drive home tonight, but much bigger impact in through Tuesday morning. The heaviest snow will be falling overnight tonight. This is a little snapshot of 2 a.m widespread snow for everybody. As we look at tomorrow morning, snow continues to fall through rush hour and the winds, the winds will be incredibly strong. We're talking a north wind here gusting 60, 70 kilometers an hour across the GTA. Now any snow that falls, it's going to be sticking around with us all week long because temperatures in behind this clipper while well, they continue to drop. And we are looking at a very cold day ahead into Tuesday and Wednesday. This afternoon we're minus three, Tomorrow, minus four, and then look at Wednesday here. Minus seven feels like minus 15. Just want to show you the 401. This Good to have you along with us this morning, 7.06 a.m. And wow, Emily, it is a cold start to the day with the wind chill. Move. It feels like minus 13. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, we're seeing <laughs> a little bit of light snow throughout the GTA right now. We do have special weather statements in place. We have got wind and we have got snow on the way. First measurable system of the season, and that is why we're in Stormwatch. And we've got the special weather statements in place. These were issued by Environment Canada over the weekend, warning people that, hey, snow is on the way. You're going to be dusting off the car. You're going to be shoveling the driveway with this system because we are seeing accumulating snow. All right, it is time now to check out what is trending online. All right, thanks so much for that, Kelly. Now, the system that's approaching, it's really going to start to impact us later on this afternoon, kind of after lunch in between kind of 1 and 3 p.m. for the City of Toronto. So it doesn't look as though the drive home is going to be too bad. You got it. This is the clipper that's moving in. We're going to see some snow. We've seen some snow throughout the rush hour drive this morning as well. This is a closer look at the radar. So some light flurries, mm -hmm. yes. But the high impact, you're right, that's definitely going to be into Tuesday morning, especially with the winds whipping as well. Yeah, the winds have the potential to be 60 to 90. 90 kilometers an hour, especially along the lakes. Mm -hmm. Temperatures cold this afternoon. It is going to feel like minus 9 for the city of Toronto. It's going to feel like minus 10 through Newmarket. And you think this is cold? Wait until Wednesday shows up. Yeah, Wednesday is a freezing day. <laughs> think February when we talk yeah. Wednesday's temperatures. I want to time this system out for you right now. This is the area of low pressure. This is why we're in storm watch. Big accumulating snow for everybody. When we get lake effect snow, it targets certain people. Mm -hmm. When we get a system like this, everybody gets into the snow. So some of the heaviest overnight tonight lasting in through Tuesday morning and then finally diminishing throughout the day on Tuesday. Snowfall totals they're going to vary depending on where you are so closer to the lakes we're looking at about 10 to 20 centimeters because there's going to be a little bit of enhancement. Down towards say Hamilton and then through Burlington and Oakville it looks as though anywhere between 5 to 7 is kind of your range and then for mm -hmm. the city of Toronto 10 centimeters certainly not out of the question. Now it is not snowing this morning out on the 401 but we've got some big problems out there so I want to it's Monday morning. The storm watch music is going. We are tracking a clipper moving into Ontario. Rachel Schutz and Kelly Sonnenberg here with you. And Kelly, it is not snowing right now across the GTA. We have like some mm -hmm. light flurries, not accumulating snow, yeah. but it's already been a rough morning out there. Closure on the 401 westbound through Martin Grove Dixon. I'm hoping scenes like this don't play out again tomorrow morning because mm -hmm. tomorrow morning we're actually going to have some measurable snow on the ground. And again, yeah, that Tuesday morning commute, maybe even into the evening for areas like Ottawa and yeah. Montreal, we're going to get to the snow amounts and the winds we can expect. But first, let's find out what's trending online.
So yesterday was all about the snow squalls in southern Ontario. Today, it's going to be system snow. Mm -hmm. And this past weekend, Environment Canada was giving us all a heads up, issuing these widespread special weather statements for the system coming in. And Rachel, this is going to be the first significant snowfall for the GTA. You got it. People in Toronto will be shoveling the driveway, dusting off the car, about 10 centimeters for Toronto. We're talking about 6 to 8 for places like Mississauga, mm -hmm. Oakville, Burlington, up to the snow belt, Barry, 10 for you, even 15 down in the Niagara region. And as we take a look at southern Quebec, we also do have those winter storm watches in effect. That's because the 20 to 30 centimeters, that's not, not all we're getting. We're also going to be seeing some strong winds start to develop, especially Tuesday night into Wednesday. So blowing snow, mm -hmm. drifting snow, reduced visibilities. This is going to be a concern for the next couple of days. It's going to be a big system in places like Cape Breton. Calm today, but you will be getting into that system by the time we look at Wednesday. And this one bringing in a bit of a mixed bag across the east. Yeah, similar to this past weekend, I think this low may actually be taking a little bit more of a northern track but you know what widespread 15 to 30 centimeters across northern New Brunswick and then again a messy mix across Nova Scotia and parts of Newfoundland as well all right so we want to ask you what are you scrambling for this morning you hear the storm watch music we're telling you the snow is coming in is it the shovel is it the snow brush what are you looking for Kelly uh, you know what I would maybe probably say all of the above <laughs> uh, I do not have a shovel I live on in a condo but I do not know where my snow brush is uh -oh. either. <laughs> what about I, you I always leave my snow brush in the back of the car so I always got it but lots of people oh finding the salt as well. That, of course, is a good one and uh, nothing. I am ready. Steve, I am with you too. Now we're going to take a look at your local forecast and on the other side of that, Force of Nature is next. Hi there. Good morning. It's Monday. It is December the 11th. Thanks so much for joining us. Emily and Rachel with you. And we've got good news and bad news. Mm -hmm. It all depends on whether or not you like snow. So what's the good news? That we've got snow. <laughs> what's the bad news? That we've got snow. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on who is watching, right? It's great to have you along with us. And it really is, yes, the first measurable snow of the season for Toronto. And Emily, over the weekend, those special weather statements were issued. With good reason, because this is, yes, the first impactful snowfall of the season for many in the GTA. It will be affecting your commute home today and really impacting your commute to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the winds, they are certainly going to have an impact with blowing and drifting snow. Now, Emily, I want to share this story to sort of warm everybody up on this Monday morning. This group of students, or people, I'm not sure if they're actually students. They were handing they look out, like they look like students. <laughs> they, look they, student. were, they were handing out clothes to homeless people in Toronto across the GTA over this weekend. And look at that, you know, that's something we're buying, we're gifting, mm -hmm. we're baking, we're doing so much for our families and our friends. Yeah. But sometimes you just gotta give to people who need it. Absolutely, what a heartwarming story. And this kind of brings us to our next point, something that we are supporting and that we're trying to get people involved in is uh, Operation Warm. And this is by downloading a song. That puts you into the Christmas spirit, isn't it? Because I think we're always so busy buying gifts for yeah. our own. Yeah. Sometimes we need to give. It like hurts my heart to see a video like that because I've got my kids and I've got them all dressed and I've got them all warm in their snow pants and their jacket and they can go outside and they can have fun. So Absolutely. this is a really good, it's not just to keep them warm and safe, it's so they can actually go out and enjoy the snow like every little kid loves to do. Absolutely. And we will be seeing some snow here across the GTA. That's for sure. Let's get into this story, Emily. That's the special weather statements widespread. And now let's take a look at the rain radar this morning. Here's the clipper as it moves in. We're starting to see a couple of flurries throughout much of the GTA this morning. But the hardest impact, it's going to start later on this afternoon, but the heaviest impact is going to be through the overnight tonight and then tomorrow morning's commute, Rachel. I think you're going to be very busy on traffic. Yes. I think it's, there's going to be a significant slowdown tomorrow morning. Absolutely. And you know, speaking of traffic this morning, I do want to mention the 401 went off the highway. So don't put yourself in that scenario, especially into tomorrow. We don't want to be looking at something like that because we do have about 10 centimeters on the way. All right, and coming up, this is such a, uh, well. It's 7.46 a.m. and you are watching the Weather Network. And first things first, we got to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported our license renewal here at the Weather Network. It officially has closed now in terms of supporting us, messaging the CRTC. All of you who did it, though, we cannot thank you enough because I love being here with you every morning. And of course, we love talking about the snow, too, right? There's a lot of snow to talk about. Just a little bit of it fell over the weekend. Justin Engel took this one in Guelph gorgeous shot, but there's a lot more snow on the way and we're going to get to that just after this. 
And remember, that snow in Buffalo, that was lake effect snow. So bands off of Erie targeted right into that stadium, it seems, right? Whiteout conditions from the stands looking down at the field. But for us, what we will be seeing, it's not just lake effect snow. This is a system, an actual area of low pressure that is tracking across southern Ontario. So that is why the special weather statements are in place. It's really the first measurable snow of the season. And we can see this clipper here continuously taking shape, moving into the GTA by the time we see this afternoon. So light stuff this afternoon and for the rush hour drive home tonight, roads will be slick though. Do keep that in mind. But the bigger impact on the drive, that is going to be taking place into tomorrow morning. So 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. We're thinking about 10 for Toronto, about 5 to 8 for places like Oakville and Burlington, up to Barrie. You can be looking at 10 plus with a little bit of enhancement off Georgian Bay, Niagara region, enhancement off Erie. Looks like you could be seeing up to 15 centimeters of snow. This is going to be a good juicy system for us, enough for us to start thinking, okay, winter's really here and also putting some snow down on the ground, increasing our chances at a white Christmas. So overnight tonight, that's when we're going to start to see the most steady and the most heavy snow. And that will continue as we go in through the rush hour drive tomorrow morning, tapering off throughout the day, but the winds really picking up. Tomorrow morning, the winds easily could be gusting 60, 70 kilometers an hour out of the north and in behind that clipper while the cold air, it is here to stay. Temperatures really falling as we go into Wednesday. Minus seven will be the daytime high. Now, I do want to show you our roads this morning because we've got some trouble out there. This is the we are in storm watch here at the Weather Network for this one. So glad to have you along with us this morning as we look at the temperatures today. It's a cold day today. Those winds not as strong as what we saw on Sunday, but we are feeling the chill with winds picking up again into Tuesday tomorrow morning. So feels like minus nine in Toronto today feels like minus 14 up in cottage country. So the cold no one is escaping that as we go into this afternoon and the snow. No one escaping that either. Widespread special weather statements across the Golden Horseshoe. This is the system that we are in storm watch for, and this is the system that's going to turn Toronto white. We got 10 centimeters of snow on the way. So here's the clipper. Starts to bring us some light snow in through the afternoon. The rush hour drive home tonight, we will feel the impact of this, but I'm thinking we'll feel it even more in through Tuesday morning when those winds really start to pick up. The heaviest snow will be falling overnight tonight and in through Tuesday morning. Shoveling, Yes, you're going to have to shovel with this system. Dust off the car into Tuesday morning. Yes, so plan for extra time. 10 centimeters of snow should be falling for Toronto. Lesser amounts for Oakville, Burlington, over towards Milton. And then the winds really picking up in through Tuesday. And we're going to feel that cold in behind the system. So, Emily, the chill certainly upon us. And that's where our Long Ranger begins. <laughs> Hey, it's great to have you along with us on this Monday morning. Rachel Shoots and Emily Vukovic with you. And Emily, we're starting off everybody's Monday with this special weather statement in place. Snow is moving in. So if Monday wasn't hard enough, uh, we're making it a little harder for you. But you know what? Some people are really <laughs> excited about this. This is like a mm -hmm. big deal for people that are into snow. Absolutely. Uh, we'll talk more about this system and how it progresses right after what's trending online. Okay, I'm not much of a sports fan, but imagine sitting in those stands with all that snow on top of you as well. No eggs. <laughs> you won't catch me in there. But great video, though. Really, yeah. really great video. And let's talk about this snow that's moving in. You know, Emily, we've been talking so much about lake effect snow. This is not lake effect snow. This is an actual system that's going to spread the wealth. I'm just going to answer like this yeah. to you the mm -hmm. whole morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. We are going to be seeing quite a bit of it. It's fairly widespread. goes all the way from northern Ontario mm -hmm. straight through the lower Great Lakes. The heaviest snow is going to be falling through the overnight tonight. So yes, it is going to start around mid-afternoon for much of the GTA, but the heaviest snow is going to be falling through the overnight, really impacting tomorrow morning's commute. And in case you forget what snow looks like, just want to show you some snowy video from <laughs> over the weekend. Don't forget. <laughs> really. We all remember. But look how beautiful Montreal was looking oh. on Sunday. Just some great conditions to go for that perfect walk in the snow. Well, Pretty Montreal nice. is going to be getting hammered with about 20 centimeters. So they're going 
going to get that reminder. And let's take a look at how much snow we're expecting with this system. Here's some of the numbers we're talking. Oh, let me go back to some of the numbers. There we go. Here's about five to 10 generally across the Golden Horseshoe. Toronto, we're thinking more 10 centimeters for you. Lesser amounts west of Toronto. So Oakville and Burlington, for example. Oh, it's unfortunate. That's where my house is. <laughs> oh, you're getting on yes. the lesser end. <laughs> yeah, but of course, around the lakes, certainly could see 10 to 20 plus. And then as you go further east into Kingston and up through parts of Ottawa and Montreal, lots of snow in the forecast. Now, the wind into tomorrow morning is going to make things feel a little bit more intense. It may stop snowing for, let's say, a couple moments or so. Mm -hmm. But as the wind keeps whipping up, it will feel like that snow was just continuous. So blowing and drifting snow, that's going to be an issue for Tuesday. 60 to 90 kilometer an hour gusts. Temperatures dropping. Minus eight is what it's going to feel like yeah. this afternoon. By Wednesday, it is going to feel like more like the minus teens. And the key here is the snow is going to stick as the cold air still upon us. Now, when we come back, we want to show you this episode of Captured. And it's a good lesson as to why you should keep away from the snow plows. Stormwatch coverage continues on this Monday, December the 11th. Rachel and Emily with you. We're talking about the first measurable snowstorm for Toronto starting today continuing tonight and tomorrow morning it's a tricky commute it is going to be one and you know special weather statements they've been issued by environment canada not to scare you but just to prepare you because this is not going to be a huge overwhelming amount of snow we're talking <laughs> 10 centimeters okay but the first that's a one, big deal for people is. that live in the city of toronto and when it's the first one of the season it, it always hits people as a bit of a shock right absolutely now the winds are certainly going to have an impact as well so yeah it may be 10 only only 10 centimeters of snow <laughs> but it is going to be blowing and drifting causing poor visibility on the roads. Now, before we get into that forecast, I want to share something that's going to warm me up on this Monday morning. Was looking at these pictures on Twitter from over the weekend, and this group of people share the warmth of Christmas. They were handing it's out amazing. clothes that they collected to homeless people across Toronto. You know, that is an amazing group of people, and that is how you share the Christmas spirit. And you know what? We can share a little bit of our own Christmas spirit, and all you have to do is download a song. Yep. Easy. That's it, right? You download a song. That's click with a K. You download that song and it's a really good jingle. I'm enjoying it. That's Add hilarious. that to your playlist and one dollar <laughs> goes to Operation Warm and they are helping keep everybody warm this winter season. I love it. And you know, you need to keep warm because this week is cold and snowy. So let's get into this, Emily. All right. We've got a widespread accumulation. We're talking about this. Environment Canada has issued this special weather statement. It is going to develop later on this afternoon. Now the snow that we're seeing right now, completely unrelated. This is not storm watch what we have in the city of Toronto the light flurries this is storm watch this is going to be coming in the bulk of it overnight tonight hurting your morning commute tomorrow now not to downplay the impacts that it will have on tonight's commute because things could be a little slick mm -hmm. but the worst of it for sure it is going to be into Tuesday morning widespread snow overnight tonight so nobody is escaping this everybody gets some snow some of the lesser amounts though will be over towards Oakville and Burlington that's funny I, my house is like right here right, here, right there right see that's the weather gods. Little, yeah, right there in that Blessing you. Yeah, Emily doesn't have her snow tires on yet, so we're going to be nice to her so she can drive to work tomorrow morning. Uh, so this clipper, okay, the winds are a big story. The blowing, drifting, we could see winds gusting 60 to 90 kilometers an hour. But like you were saying, Rachel, it's widespread in some areas, getting a lot. It is. So we are going to be following this story very closely on the Weather Network. Our storm watch coverage continues. And this picture, this has been going viral right across the internet on TV this morning. We're going to chat about this when we come back. First things first this morning, we got we got to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported our license renewal here at the Weather Network. It officially closed on Friday, so for everybody who took the time to go to the website to say why we should stay on basic cable, we can't thank you enough because I love being here with you every morning. And of course, we are going to dive into winter together. We love talking about this snow, right? Snow in Guelph over the weekend. Beautiful scene by Justin Engel. Thanks so much for tweeting me that one. And there's going to be a lot to tweet and talk about because we are in Stormwatch and we're going to get into the details on this snowy system. But first, this. I'm sure it was cold out in the stands, but uh, when you get a wind like that, worth it to be out there. All right, let's get into our Stormwatch coverage now. We are looking at special weather statements issued by Environment Canada, widespread across southern Ontario, basically letting you know a system is coming in. And as we look at the system, this is the clipper right here. Now, this is moving a little bit slower than a usual clipper. Clippers are usually pretty moisture starved and they're fast as they track across the country. This one is a little bit slower and it's going to tap into a bit more moisture. And we're going to start to see this come into effect across the GTA 
day this afternoon. This morning we did see a couple flurries. That's not why we're in storm watch. That's not the system. We're going to see this start this afternoon and then overnight tonight. That's when some of the heaviest snow will fall. 10 centimeters of snow. I know that doesn't sound like a ton of snow, but for Toronto, that's a decent amount of snow. And with the first one of the season for some people, of course, it comes in as a bit of a shock. A reminder, snow can be difficult to drive in. We will see lesser amounts west of Toronto out towards Oakville and Burlington, about five to six centimeters of snow here. And the winds also really picking up into Tuesday morning. So blowing snow may make it seem a little bit worse than what has actually fallen. So this afternoon, the snow starts. The rush hour drive home tonight will be impacted by this. Heaviest snow falls overnight. Biggest impact on the drive will be into Tuesday morning. That's because of of course, the snow will be falling. A lot of it will have already fallen and those winds. Those winds could be gusting up to 70 kilometers an hour within the GTA. That is also going to make a real big cold cool down in behind it. Temperature is taking a huge drop, especially as we go into Wednesday, and that means all the snow that falls. Well, it is sticking. Now, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the Long Ranger. We'll show you some temperatures as we go into the weekend. Emily will join us next. Well, it's Monday morning and we are in Stormwatch. As if Monday morning wasn't hard enough to get through. Now we're playing the Stormwatch music. The special weather statements are in place from Environment Canada. 10 centimeters on the way. We'll get to that full weather story in just a few moments. But first, let's take a look at what's trending online. I love that video. Those people in the stands must have just been frozen <laughs> snow going down your neck and your hair. Oh, yeah, but everywhere. when you're a fan... <laughs> You're going to deal with it. Now, totally. you know, that was lake effect snow. So a band off of Erie really targeting Buffalo and, of course, that stadium. What we're going to be dealing with, why we're in Stormwatch, is not lake effect snow. It's a system. It's an Alberta clipper that's coming in. The good news about a clipper is that they're fast. They yes. come in, they do what they got to do, and then they get out. That's the good news. The <laughs> bad news is that it's going to be coming in just in time for your evening commute home today. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be heaviest through the overnight tonight, really impacting your morning commute tomorrow. And, you know, I want to make everything clear clear because this morning we have been seeing a couple flurries. This, this is not it. why we're in Stormwatch. <laughs> this is not it. for a couple flurries. We've been seeing them around the GTA. It's the system that is coming in today. Uh, those girls of the weather now. Oh, what are they talking storm about? Stormwatch. <laughs> All right, we're at minus eight. That's what it's going to feel like this afternoon. So winter willies, think about snow pants for mm -hmm. the kids, boots, mitts, neck warmers, the whole gamut today. Now, as Rachel mentioned earlier, if you forgot what <laughs> snow looks like, I don't think anyone ever forgets what snow looks like. Unless you've been away from Canada for maybe, like 30 years, maybe. but then you still remember. But you know what? Sometimes we just need to look at Montreal in the fresh snow and you're reminded how peaceful and how beautiful snow can be, right? Am I selling you on that? I don't know who you are. <laughs> Of course, you know what? I always find that there's something really like romantic about yeah. the first snowfall of the season and up north and through cottage country with all the resorts oh, and yeah. the fun things to do in the snow and the skiing and the snowmobiling and the skating and all the things that I don't do but look really yeah. fun from inside. They look lots of fun. And you know what? Uh, Blue Mountain <laughs> opens tomorrow. <gasps> That's amazing. Officially for the season. So this clipper, of course, is going to be bringing in some great scenes to places mm -hmm. like Blue Mountain. Heaviest snow will be falling overnight tonight. But Emily, as you mentioned earlier, should impact two rush hour drives tonight and then a bigger impact in through Tuesday morning. Now some of the snowfall mounts, it's really going to be dependent on where you are because mm -hmm. in through Oakville and Hamilton and Burlington, it looks more to be that five to seven centimeter amount. City of Toronto, we're looking at 10 centimeters. Areas further east could see closer to 20. Areas further west along the lakes also could see further to 20 with gusty winds to top it all off. You got it. Those wind gusts up to about 70 kilometers an hour. Now when we come back an episode of Captured and why you need to stay away from the plows as they'll be out tomorrow.